while Turkey has one of the world's fastest growing economies, but it is beginning to show signs of strain. The country has reported that the trade deficit has widened for the 11th consecutive months. Natalie Carney reports. As a bridge between east and west, Turkey is very much a gauge of economic conditions in both hemispheres. Exports may have increased by 21 percent last month, but a crippling European economy has seen Turkish products to the region drop by roughly 10 percent since the beginning of the year, forcing exporters to look towards other markets. While the EU was snapping up Turkish automotive and electronic goods, Turkey's trading partners in the Middle East and North Africa have been more interested in the less profitable textiles industry. We're doing extremely well in Middle East, uh, North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa where, uh, you know, the share of which is improving in total trade. But all of these are cyclical and really not too high margin businesses. But even that's not what it used to be. Ur Aras ships 99% of his clothing inventory abroad. We were selling our goods mostly to the Eastern Bloc and Arab countries. But sales fell because of the conflicts in the Middle East and the collapse of the real estate market in several Eastern European countries. This improvement to Turkey's foreign trade balance is largely being credited to a slowdown of the domestic economy, the diversification of export markets, declining oil prices, as well as a surge in gold gold sales, particularly to sanction hit Iran. In the last year, gold and other precious metal exports reached roughly 14 billion U.S. dollars, accounting for roughly 75 percent of Turkey's economic growth. And according to Attila Yashilada, 80 percent of that gold ends up in Iran through illegal channels. To the extent that our economy minister, Mr. Zafar Chalian, takes credit for an export uh, miracle is not true, because gold exports are not through our, our efforts. And more importantly, central bank uh, conducting or planning monetary policy on these foreign trade figures, including gold, is simply not realistic. Uh, disappointments are likely to be on the horizon in the short term. Still, with a reduction in its foreign trade gap, Turkey is likely to continue attracting more foreign investment from both sides of the Bosphorus. Natalie Carney, CCTV, Istanbul, Turkey.